when I was a senior in high school, I was looking for something to do uh, with a year off. So I, want, I knew I wanted to take a year off, take a break from school, but I wanted something worthwhile to do. And this gave me, this was definitely that opportunity. And uh, so I heard about it and I looked it up and it just seemed amazing. Uh, National Outdoor Leadership School. And it's, uh, it's really a wild program. It offers a really unique kind of uh, experience all over, well, all over the world. They offer uh, courses, you know, everywhere from Patagonia to New Zealand. But they really emphasize that, uh, you know, kind of the leadership and, the, and uh, taking responsibility, especially out there in the wilderness. And a lot of what they're about is uh, kind of um, giving, making that expedition the student's expedition. So those of us that are on the trip are really the ones who take the reins and, and uh, run the show by the, end of the, by the end of the year. So we came in as novices and you know everything from hiking to mountaineering to kayaking or rock climbing and then um, over the course of six months we became very proficient and were eventually so at the start where we were kind of being uh, instructed by the end we were uh, kind of uh, making decisions you know deciding where we were going to go and what we were going to do. It's broken up into hiking, mountaineering, uh, we had a 10-day crash course on uh, and we're certified as wilderness first responders. Uh, then we had an independent expedition that, uh, so me and three other people went on an independent expedition. We planned our own route and went out to the mountains. And that was uh, after we'd kind of been prepped by the first semester to do that on our own. And then uh, after that, we did, we did spent a week doing a service project, uh, working on this guy's farm. And then another 14 days or so uh, living on a, living with a gaucho on his farm um, and that was as the part of the cultural section so it gave us a chance to uh, kind of live with and uh, understand the culture of the people that live down there it was uh, it was pretty wild we, me and my friend uh, ben were uh, kind of teamed up for that section so we were on this farm and the guy uh, had his birthday when we were there so uh, <laughs> and this is a dude you know he didn't have a car or anything he just had some horses and for example, when we went out to get wood in the forest, he would hook up his wooden homemade cart to his two oxen and we would take it out into the woods and load stumps up on it for him to uh, cut into two by fours with his chainsaw. So we spent a month kayaking on the ocean in the fjords and then uh, the very last month was spent at rock camp. We set up a base camp among these crags and just climbed. We'd climb, you know, six, seven different climbs a day uh, and went from People went from, you know, being complete novices at all these things. I know there was one guy who had never been camping before in his life uh, at the very start. And then by the end, you're, you know, pretty comfortable with just about any situation you could, you could find yourself in out there. So th this is a map that shows part of our uh, mountaineering route. Um, and we started up here, went down the El Canal Valley. Uh, up over these, uh, up over this glacier right here, and then summited some peaks basically in this area, all through here. Um, our original plan, I remember, was to uh, go over some peaks over here and down into this valley, but uh, we got we got turned around due to some uh, unforeseen circumstances and ended up going down, down the valley, uh, down over here, and then eventually back. But uh, I mean, it's just it's just such an unbelievable place. The whole the whole of Patagonia is just just it's like another planet. It's wild.